My name's Jake, and I'd love to take a moment to pray the word with you. What we're going to do is just take a peek at some scripture, something that's dear to my heart. Hopefully you can do the same, and we're, we want to learn how to just use the scripture as a template. The Lord's already said it. It's very simple. The word's written out, and it's just sometimes we don't know what to pray, maybe not quite how to pray. We always have an, an option. We can just look at the Word of God. And so right now we're going to take a look at Isaiah 26, and we're going to look through the first few verses and just pray through it. And so if you want to join me in prayer, let's do that. It says in Isaiah 26, In that day this song will be sung in the land of Judah. We have a strong city. He sets up walls and ramparts for security. Lord, you do set up a secure fortress around our lives. Lord, you do keep us within your walls. Lord, you do look out for us um, as a guardian, Lord, as a, uh, one who is a watchman on the wall of our lives. Open the gates that the righteous may, nation may enter, the one that remains faithful. The steadfast of mind you will keep in perfect peace because he trusts in you. Lord, you do keep us in perfect peace as we trust in you. Lord, as our mind is stayed upon you, as we look to you, Lord, you bring that settling within our hearts. You take away the anxious thoughts. Oh Lord, take away those thoughts and replace them with your perfect shalom peace. Lord, replace that within our own heart, Lord. We look to you and we trust you. Lord, you're able, you're faithful. And so we believe that to be the case in our own lives this very day, Lord. For he has brought low those who dwell on high, the unassailable city, he lays it low. He lays it low to the ground, he casts it to the dust. The foot will trample it, the feet of the afflicted, the steps of the helpless. Lord, you will put down the mighty, the proud, the wicked. Lord, those who think they are great and, and stand above and oppress. Lord, you're the one that brings justice. And you will bring low those who dwell on high. Lord. I put myself low before you. We lay our lives low, Lord, that we would not be put down, but we humble ourselves before the King of Kings. Lord, you're so worthy of all our praise, and so we do just bow our lives before you right now. The way of the righteous is smooth. Oh, upright one, make the path of the righteous level. Yes, Lord, we wanna see that pathway just cleared before us, and it's only by your strength, Lord. It's only by your provision. And so, Lord Jesus, make that way, pave it smooth for us. Lord, make it pristine. Lord, we ask that you would take away those obstacles, that you take away those things, those trappings, those things set forth by the enemy, Lord, that would, would uh, get a hold of our lives, Lord. May you clear the way for us, bulldoze everything that doesn't belong within our life and within our path. Indeed, while following the way of your judgments, O Lord, we have waited for you eagerly. Your name, even your memory, is the desire of our souls. And Lord, that is so true. Uh, we just need more of you. Lord Jesus, we desire you within the very being, Lord. And as our souls are eternal, Lord, we know that that desire will be met in eternity with you in heaven. And so, Lord, just be the one that we, we, as we wait upon you eagerly, Lord, be the one that is here in our midst, Lord. Be present for us this very day. We long for you, Lord Jesus. And that's it. Amen. That's how we pray the word. And, you know, I hope you can find opportunity to do that uh, on a regular basis. Make it part of your devotional life. There's so much scripture that's already a template for you. So thanks for joining me for Pray the Word. Pray the Word.